What's going on you guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to take you through getting your car prepped before it gets wrapped so whether you're planning on wrapping your car yourself or if you're going to take it to a shop this is just what i'm doing to make it as easy as possible on myself also maybe if you want to go through and get it prepped as much as possible if you're taking it to a shop it might save you some money in the long run but Let's go ahead and get started. So obviously the first thing you wanna do is work on getting it as clean as possible so you can go through like your whole car wash method. I was really hoping for a nice day where I could, you know, really take my time on washing my car, but it has been snowing for the last week or so. So for the last two days, I've been going through and trying to clean my car. It's not perfect yet. So I did just kind of do waterless car wash and just Try to clean it up as much as possible. You really want to get into all the cracks. Make sure you get the wheels really clean as well. And then after you clean your car, you'll want to go through with a clay bar or a clay rag, whichever you prefer. After that, then you're going to want to take some alcohol and then just make sure that you really pick up all of those little dirt particles. The prep and the cleaning is probably the most important part of your wrap. It'll really kind of determine whether, you know, you're going to have a clean wrap or a not so clean wrap. So I already removed the passenger side door handles as well as the mirrors here and then everything else can stay. I'm not going to remove my vortex generator because I'm actually not going to wrap the roof because I will like the way it looks like with the black. I did start on the trunk. I really just removed the liner and I started working this out, but I'll show you how to do it on this side. Since I have an STI, I am going to remove the wing so that way it's easier for me to wrap the trunk. So I am removing the taillights. I've had my taillights professionally wrapped before, um, but those will be easy just to pop out because this whole fender is going to be pretty difficult to wrap. So just removing this will make it a little bit easier on me to make sure I get a really clean corner here. So I still have the driver's side door handles installed, so I'll take you through and show you how to remove those as well as the mirror. Another big thing to remember when cleaning your car is make sure that you're also cleaning your wheels and tires really good because when you go to lay out the film, it might pick up a lot of dirt and stuff. So just make sure that you're getting those clean as well. For the front, I am going to do the whole front bumper and pull that off. I'll probably pull out my grill delete and the headlights as well. And then the front lip for sure needs to come off too. I've removed my bumper so many times, so I'm a little scared about how strong the clips are underneath, but I guess I'll figure that out when I get there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the tail light. Now that the clips are removed, we can just pull this back. So we have three bolts here, and then the power to the lights, and then we have one more snap and clip all the way here in the back. It is sealed, so I'll just slowly press it out until it pops out. <laughs> And it's just secured by a bunch of different clips. Once you remove the cover, you can see these three bolts on each side that are holding the spoiler in place. I actually waited until the following morning to have Brandon help me pull the spoiler off of the trunk. When removing these bolts, you have to balance the trunk a certain way so that way they don't fall into the back side of the trunk. I lost one bolt and it was super hard to get out, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks like I have a WRX. It's like I cut my car's pee pee off. <laughs> now we're gonna work on removing the door handles and to access those, we have to remove the whole door panel, but it's not too bad. So we just have two clips that'll pop out with a flat head and then two screws to remove and then I can pop it off. Down below, we just have this pull-out piece here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that out. And then this rubber seal, I'll just remove as well in case I lose anything in there. It just has like little clips that hold it in. And now I think the scariest part is just popping off this door panel. have a couple of pieces here to remove sorry I'm trying to get into the frame here because my camera's too low <laughs> but this piece this top cord is just connected by three 
Phillips screws, so we'll just remove those. Is it three? It's only two. Only two screws. <laughs> and then we just have one more cord here that we'll pull out after. I got that one off. <laughs> Hercules, you why are you drooling? <laughs> So now that the panel is removed, we have this plastic here, so it's going to peel that back. This is really sticky, so I'm going to try and keep it intact with the plastic, just so that way when I reassemble my car, it'll just go back together easily. So we're going to remove this clip here, undo these three bolts as well. Oh, did you stop being a dinosaur? Alright, and then for the rest of the door handle, there's two bolts also with the T30 on the inside. So there's this first one that you can reach here, and then the other one, we're going to push this through. So you'll push in this button and pull it away, and then you'll be able to see it through this opening here. So these you want to be really careful not to lose in your door, so just make sure you grab it as it comes out. And then you can just push it on through as you're unscrewing it. When you push it, this will pop out. Right. And then to release the handle, what you'll want to do is there's a yellow little lever on the inside here. So you'll just lift it while also opening the handle. And then the door handle will just come right up. It's a lot of stuff on there. And I'm just going to mount this back in place so I know where it goes. So that's the rear side. You can see it's just like a nicer area to work with when I go to wrap it. All right, now let's tackle the driver's side. Oh! So we have the two same screws holding on the door panel. We have the same three screws on the top here. Two! Two screws! <laughs> okay, this one. All right. Okay, it was way longer than I was expecting. That's what she said. Now that we can remove the door handle, we're gonna work on the mirror. We just gotta remove some more of the plastic here. There are three bolts that we will undo. You wanna unplug it first, and then just make sure that you're undoing the bolts slowly so that way you can grab the mirror so it doesn't just slide out and fall. All right. So now I'm about to move on to the bumper, so I'm going to remove that, as well as the headlights, and then I think that'll be everything. That was an asshole. Little garage heater ran out of kerosene, so it's freezing cold in here now, so I'm going to try and knock this out as quickly as possible. So I removed the tail lights. I'm not going to like completely take them off. I just set them aside just so that way when I go to wrap the hood, there is some space between like the top of the hood and the headlight and then it should be really easy to wrap. Honestly, the whole entire car should be really easy to wrap for me, which is like the whole <laughs> focus on this video, which this is the end of the video. I got everything taken off and I'm ready to start laying my first piece of vinyl. So make sure you check out my next video for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this video is helpful for you if you're planning on it wrapping your car yourself or if you're about to take it into the shop and have somebody else wrap it. This will save them a bunch of time. 
a bunch of headache and hopefully some money from you. If you have any other tips and tricks, please feel free to share them in the comments just to help out the rest of the people car community that is watching this video planning on wrapping their car but thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in my next video so here are all the parts that i removed i have like all my door stuff here trunk spoiler rear driver door all the bumper stuff at so top and bottom side skirts so i just threw the tail lights over here trunk liners are over here i just put the door panels like off to the side here kind of a disaster but no big deal and then we moved a lot of the parts just into my office because I'll probably end up wrapping them in here since it is warmer than in the garage. Oh, get back. We don't want dog hair. <laughs> They're probably already covered in dog hair, but <laughs> you don't tell me. And then here is the wrap color. So from Ravuni Wraps. It's called Ruby Star. So it's like this red purple color. So that's the color. It's crazy. Such a big difference from black, but make sure that you're subscribed so you can see the final result. Bye guys. What are you telling me? What? You want to say something? I totally... <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh, stop interrupting me.